During the week of Senior Bowl practices, many NFL draft prospects showed up. Talk with many NFL scouts, and these are the guys that they said jumped out to them the most. Xavier Ball, a wide receiver from Nebraska, was number one. Number 23, he showed off his ability to separate at an even better level than at Nebraska. The next is Tyler Waffle. He's been soaring up draft boards. He didn't play a lot at Alabama, but he has all of the tools to be great. Huge arm, good accuracy, size, and he can run as well. The offseason started with him projected as a late first rounder, but it's possible that he could go top 10. The last prospect that jumped out the NFL scouts was wide receiver Mozzie York. He played for Texas A&M, and Mozzie York did not produce as much at A&M due to a bad offense and a bad quarterback. But I think more than anything, he showed that he's a pure natural at the position. Before the week, many projected him to go between the 4th and the 7th rounds, but I believe he'll definitely go day 2. Second or third round, and I'm betting he's going in the second round. During the Senior Bowl game, I'll be controlling some of the best players on offense and defense for both teams. Let's get to it, man. On the first play we'll be controlling will be Darius Meadows Jr., cornerback that plays for Alabama. And he's a very good player in zone or man coverage. Right here, he sees the screen in zone and attacks immediately. Makes the play behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of six, forcing a third down and 19. Huge play. Now he's playing man coverage on defense, and he gets whooped by Xavier Baller. Falls on his face, embarrasses himself right in front of everybody. It's kind of crazy, though. He was the reason that it was a third down and 19 in the first place. Gets cooked on third down and 19 and gives up the first down. Great route by Xavier Baller, though. He cut right on the dime and made the catch. Now, Darius Meadows is back on defense, covering Xavier Baller once again on second down and two. The North will end up running the ball. Darius Meadows recognizes it's a run play, stops him immediately. Great play right there by Darius Meadows. Couldn't even get blocked at all. Xavier Baller tried to get his hands on him, but Darius Meadows was just too quick for him. Now, if we flip it to the offensive side of the ball, Tyler Waffle will find a wide open Ace King in the middle of the field. He will get a little bit of yak as well. Ace King is my number one receiver in the draft. On first down and 10, Tyler Waffle will low key get bailed out. Had a bunch of time to throw the ball. Should have been an interception, but Gardner, the subscriber to the channel, jumps right in front of the defender. From the start of the play, soon as Tyler Waffle got rid of the ball, I definitely thought it was an interception, but great job by the tight end that just muscling him and getting the rock. First down and 10, Tyler Waffles back on offense. He would hit him with a play action. He doesn't like what he sees initially, so those are the Gardner once again who makes another tough contested grab. My subscribers are going off in this senior bowl game. If y'all didn't know, anybody with a period next to their name means that they are a subscriber to the channel. Speaking of that, Tyler Waffle, a subscriber, great throw right here for a touchdown. Right here, he shows off his anticipation. He knows that the receiver is going to be at a certain spot, and he knows that he'll have leverage on the defender. Baller and Meadows has been going at it all week and in this game. Right here, he messes him up. One-on-one -on -one coverage absolutely cooked him. Us, us. Ooh, he was lost in his shoes, stuck in quicksand. I see you out there, Xavier. Your Darius Meadows, not a good look, man. That was the second time he got cooked by Baller, and right here was the third time. He cooked him once again. The same exact route. Baller does a great job of selling the go route. Meadows thought the ball was going to be thrown deep. Got stuck in quicksand. Xavier Baller cooked him once again. So quick. His movement is so smooth. I love Xavier Baller in this game. On third down and seven, even though Xavier Baller did not get the ball, he does a great job of blocking, which allows his man to get a first down. If he doesn't make this block on the cornerback, it might be fourth down. Great job by Xavier Baller right there. On first down and 10, Tyler Waffle does a great job of throwing this dig to Mozzie York. This is what I love to see from both of these guys. Great route from Mozzie York. Great throw by Tyler Waffle. Tyler Waffle, great anticipation. That's an NFL throw, 100%. And on top of that, he looked off the defenders with his eyes. Great eye manipulation by Tyler Waffle. And, uh, Get the ball in there. Had the linebacker looking all confused. Third down and seven. Tyler Waffle drops back. Once again, making a big boy throw in the NFL. That might be picked off. If I was Tyler Waffle, the ball would be out now. Threw the ball just a tad bit late. His arm does help him out with that. But if he gets that ball out a lot earlier, I think that's definitely a completion in the NFL. And an even more impressive throw. On top of that, though, Tyler Waffle is doing a great job of moving the ball. Great two-minute drill. Finishes off with a touchdown. 
14 to 14. 10 seconds left to go in the head. Xavier Ball is trying to get open, but Meadows does a great job of locking him down. I wish he could have caught that. Would have helped him out with his draft stock. Great coverage right there. I'd be getting cooked all game. Now Harrison Martinolovic, quarterback from Army. Throws the ball to Xavier Baller, but for some reason he couldn't hang on to it. Tried to make a little pretty boy catch. I don't even know, man. He cooked Meadows. I don't even know what he was doing. Second down and seven. We're controlling Mazi York. He finds a soft spot in the zone and makes a great cut. Showing off his jack as well. Okay. He said, I want to go high in the draft. He didn't do this a lot at Texas A&M, but when he did get the opportunity, he showed it off a little bit. But he's taking full advantage of this opportunity he's been presented at the Senior Bowl, showing off the NFL scouts, telling them, you should draft me. Now we're controlling Ace King, wide receiver, one-on-one, -on -one, just mossed him. Touchdown, okay? The Oklahoma wide receiver is showing off. My number one wide receiver in the draft. He's been a little bit quiet in this game. But that right there was the biggest play for him. He's been quiet because he's been going up against the number one cornerback on my board, Bobby Fitzpatrick. Like this right here. Fitzpatrick just locked him down. One on one. Great man coverage. Great PBU. Stop playing with 2 4. I know Marzi York is having a good day. Xavier Baller as well. But none of them are going up against Bobby Fitzpatrick. Isaiah King Jr., the running back from Michigan. Another subscriber to the channel. Great carry and. Mm! Great run right there. I love the physicality from this young man. Harrison Martinolovic throws an absolute dime to Xavier Baller, though. Even though Xavier Baller isn't my number one wide receiver on my board, he's definitely been the number one wide receiver on the field today. Great throw by Martinolovic as well. Faked the screen. Ball came out quick. Threw it right on the money. That's a big boy throw from the quarterback from Army. First down and 10. Hit him with the play action. Getting a little bit of pressure. He's still on his feet, though. What is he going to do? Lobbing it up in the middle of the field, put it right on the money to Stewart. He got smacked at the end of the play, though. Play action. Got pressure. Stayed on his feet. Waited till he could find the open man and just dropped it right in the bucket. That's what you want to see from your quarterback. First down and goal, they hand it off to Isaiah King Jr. And he will walk into the end zone untouched. Tie game. 2.15 left to go in the ball game. Mazi York got put in motion. We're controlling him right now. He sees man coverage. He was open. Dumped it off the Ace King, but oh, he messed up Bobby Fitzpatrick. I think he should have got the rock. Beautiful route. I don't think it would have been a touchdown, but that could have been a big play. And just like that, Tyler Wolf was out of the game. They got Lott in, the quarterback from Florida. He throws an interception, and now the North has a chance to win this ball game. First down and 10. Martin Olivis drops back. Clean, protected pocket. Xavier ball a wide open. Had one man to miss. Almost got his ACL taken out. He got pressed hard at the line of scrimmage, but he still made the play. Harrison Martin Olivis had a wall, and he just waited for Xavier Baller to get open. That's how you do it. Tyler Waffle throws it to Mazio. 50 seconds left to go in the fourth. Mazio does a great job of whooping Fitzpatrick at the line of scrimmage. The number one cornerback on the draft board. Okay, I see you, Mazio. Tyler Waffle throws a dime to Ace King, but great play by the defender. Knock the football out. Great press man coverage at the line. Stayed with him for the end cut. And just knocked the football out of his hands. Ace King had a quiet day today. Made some plays here and there, but nothing too special like Xavier Baller. Second down and 10. Tyler Waffle drops back. Goes deep. Those are the Ace King. Shuts me up immediately. Ace King. Aw, oh, I thought he could make the man miss. Tyler Waffle drops back. Has a bunch of time. Those are the Ace King. Knows he has the leverage. First down and goal. 33 seconds left. Waffle drops back. Those are the Mazi York. Touchdown. Okay. Now, since it's the senior boat, they decide to go for two. They going for the win. Tyler Waffle drops back, trying to find somebody. Wide open man, and he misses him. Or did he really miss him? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Is it his fault or the tight end's fault? Because he did kind of throw it right there, and the tight end just looked at him. He made some tough catches early in this game, but he just left his quarterback out the hand right there. Come on now. See the corner charging right at him? Yeah, that's the tight end's fault. And the North ends up making a comeback and winning the senior bowl. Play of the game, of course. This play by Xavier Baller, jumping and catching. And I think the player of the game should 100% be Xavier Baller. It is nine catches, 215 yards, and a touchdown. He went off. The North wins 28 to 27. A last minute turnover from the South. The North came back. Great touchdown drive. Tyler Waffle came back once again. Could have potentially tied the game. They wanted to go for the two-point conversion. And that's going to be the end of the 30-21 Senior Bowl. The NFL Draft is coming soon. NFL Free Agency is coming soon as well. 
It's a lot of things coming for this NFL season, basketball season as well. Let's take a look at some of these player stats. Like I said before, anybody with a period next to their name means that they're a subscriber to the channel. And anybody with an apostrophe next to their name means that they're a Patreon member. So Tyler Waffle, subscriber to the channel. Ace King, another subscriber. Had a quiet start, but he finished with over 100 yards. A better game than Marzi York, who is another subscriber. Noah Gardner, who kind of sold at the end of the game, another subscriber. Darius Meadows, subscriber. Subscribers really went off in this game, and I think that there will be most of the blue chip prospects in the draft. I can't wait to put the draft on the channel as well. Y'all let me know, who is your favorite prospect in the draft? Let me know in the comment section. And who's your favorite player in the NFL in the Reason Sports Network? And high school football. I want to know what y'all think about it. It wasn't a lot of running from the north, but they still won. Because Xavier Baller, 9 catches, 215 yards, 23 yards per catch, and a touchdown. He's sewing up the draft boards. I wouldn't be surprised if he was the first receiver off of the board, solely based off of this. But anyways, it's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all comment on the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And make sure you click on the post notification bell too. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. If you want to see the college football playoff national championship, then click this video right here. Or you can see every single NFL draft video if you click on the playlist above.